One of the most popular ways to celebrate the holiday weekend is to get out onto one of Minnesota's, Minnesota's lakes and rivers. Lake Minnetonka is a top destination and the busiest lake in the state. And many boaters will drop anchor at Big Island's Cruisers Cove. It has a reputation as the place to party, but as our Rachel Slavic found out, it's been a quieter weekend. Now, this is actually our second time out. Sunshine and a holiday weekend bring out the boating traffic on Lake Minnetonka. Usually we go to little private coves. Rick Ito and his wife Deb may prefer the lake's calmer water, but they almost always pass by its busiest area. We drive by just for the entertainment to <laughs> see what's happening. Big Island's Cruisers Cove has a reputation as the place to party. Fourth of July, it should be pretty wild here. Making it the ongoing focus for law enforcement. So there's a significant public safety presence out there to keep people safe. This weekend, the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office put six boats on the water, bringing in volunteer deputies to help patrol. Our special deputies are a force multiplier for us. That presence, along with safety campaigns, are leading to what you could call more responsible celebration. It's been a peaceful year so far. Yet the most noticeable difference at Big Island is among younger boaters. Undercover operations and strong enforcement have led to a drop in underage drinking. We've issued 40 citations uh, in June, you know, leading up to the 4th of July, and uh, it's paid off. It's been pretty quiet. An emphasis on safety, bringing change to the open invitation that is Cruiser's Cove. I think we are getting the message across. Rachel Slavic, WCCO 4 News. Now this holiday weekend, the sheriff's office tells us they issued four tickets for boating while intoxicated, and there have been no serious injuries or accidents. So definitely a lot more mellow mm -hmm. out there this uh, last few days. Yeah, yeah it's you. good news.